Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Castello, Board Certified Family Practice with Adventist Health Partners and CostelloWellness.com, and today we're going to talk about the health benefits of chocolate. Unfortunately, chocolate's not really healthy for you, but the cocoa content that is in chocolate has potentially several significant health benefits. Let's start with a history lesson. Uh, cocoa was processed probably over 2,500 years ago and ingested as a warm drink by Central Americans and South Americans. We have evidence of cocoa in pottery dating to 2,500 years ago. Um, it was used for medicinal purposes as well as probably enjoyment. Um, it does have some euphoric type effects. It does have caffeine in it, and people probably drank this for both medicinal as well as enjoyment purposes. They did not have chocolate at that point. They didn't have refined sugar sugar or milk to mix with it, so they were drinking a bitter cocoa drink for its benefits. What the tree is, is the cacao, C-A-C-A-O tree, and this tree has uh, seeds on it that are these little pods that have a uh, fibrous material inside and anywhere from 20 to 50 beans, which are the cacao beans. The Pods are harvested, they're slit, and they're put in buckets to rot or ferment in the sun for about a week, and this allows the skin to come off and most of this pulpy material to fall away, and they clean it and rake it, and they're left with raw cacao beans. The beans are then roasted and powdered and water's added, and this is called a chocolate liqueur, and it's a combination of about half cocoa and half cocoa butter, which actually exists. That's a something you put on your skin. That comes from this cacao bean as well. You don't eat cocoa butter. Uh, it is a fat. The cocoa butter separated off and given to the dermatology industry. The powder or the residual is powdered, and that becomes cocoa butter, which is put into chocolates. There are multiple scientific studies that show that cocoa, not cacao beans, but the roasted processed cocoa, it has benefits. It is an antioxidant. Um, it has bioflavonoids, which are nutritious or health-related. Um, it may lower blood pressure. There are studies that show that it stabilizes the lining of the blood vessels, the endothelium, and makes them less prone to injury and cholesterol deposits. It has nitric oxide effects, which are cardioprotective and blood pressure lowering. Um, it has caffeine, which can give you a little bit of energy. It may raise serotonin levels and have a slight antidepressant effect as well. So cocoa is medicinal. It is healthy for you. If you're going to eat it as chocolate, you want to stick with dark chocolate, which has a higher percentage of cocoa. Um, it has less sugar as well. When we start talking about milk chocolates and white chocolates, the cocoa is so diluted with sugar and milk products and cream that it becomes uh, much more health unfriendly than healthy friendly. So you want cocoa in its more pure form as either cocoa powder or as a dark, unsweetened dark chocolate. I've seen on the internet and looking, they make chocolates that contain cacao, and I don't think that's actually true. Remember, cacao is the unprocessed bean, which is 50% cocoa butter and only 50% cocoa. So I don't think we're at, they're actually giving you cacao. You can buy cacao raw, which I don't know if that has nutritional benefits. All of the studies are talking about cocoa, which is processed. What happens sometimes with raw foods is they are unusable in the raw form. When we heat them or cook them, that breaks them down into smaller components, which are absorbable by the digestive system. So I don't want you to go ahead and eat raw cacao because raw is better. You've been told that. In this case, it contains 50% cocoa butter, which has no health benefits. It is extra fat, and it may actually be unusable to the body in its unroasted form. So stick with cocoa. Um, if they say cacao on the chocolate bar, they're probably talking about cocoa and think that they're cooler and being more health conscious by using the word cacao, um, but that specifically refers to the tree or the unprocessed, unroasted bean. So stick with cocoa powder. For your health, Dr. Costello, thank you.